love train and Merry Christmas Eve. Actually for you it's Christmas so Merry Christmas. I um, am so excited today because well it's Christmas Eve so I have a lot of things to do. We're flying out tomorrow. I gotta um, get all my bills and money situated before I go. I always like to do that. Come back get the place cleaned up. I always like to do that too. Um, what else do I have to do? I gotta call Carrie and make plans for tomorrow because we're going to be having um, a little Christmas celebration at the airport so I'm excited about that. Um, and then I'm flying home on Christmas Day tomorrow and I'm gonna be in Kansas until January 2nd and I'm so excited oh, I'm so excited to see my family and just be home for the holidays and it's gonna be so great um, but for today I'm a busy little bee I gotta go to Publix gotta go to the bank gotta go to the dollar store gotta go to the post office I have to work today um, Cafe Evergreen closes at 3 because it's Christmas Eve and then they're going to be closed tomorrow. Um, but I do have to work today. And then Ann and Patrick have a Christmas party at their house tonight. So I'm going to be really excited for that. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Today's going to be a great day. I'm so excited. One of my projects today is this stupid piece of frustration right here. Look at my freezer. Do you see that? Like, what on earth? I hate this freezer so much. It's like frozen over to the point now where it's like sticking to the door. Um, and I hate it. So I had to open my fridge the other night and I had to yank it real hard because the ice was like frozen to the door and all of my stuff like that was on the door like flung out and I had a jar of apricot jelly that uh, flung out, landed on the floor and broke. So it's like sticky apricot jelly everywhere. I was so pissed. I hate this freezer. It's like the worst idea possible. Somebody just said, let's make a freezer that just like keeps on developing more and more ice until it eventually takes over the whole thing. Like it's the worst idea ever. So now I have to defrost that today. I've unplugged the fridge. So, and now it's just going to be a huge giant mess everywhere because that water's going to have nowhere to run to. There's like the teeniest, tiniest little retention tray underneath it for like water or whatever. But I am not pleased about it. But anyways, that's going to defrost. Everything's going to be okay. I'll leave it shut off, you know, over the holiday so it won't come back and create another iceberg in my fridge um, and it's all gonna be good all right guys what a successful day today has been <laughs> I've gotten all of my bills you know paid for and stuff I cleaned the apartment I fixed the refrigerator and I put my Christmas light earrings on hope you all can see those and now I am headed to work for my very last shift before I go home to Kansas. I'm excited. I'm excited to see everybody. I'm excited to say Happy Christmas Eve to everybody. So, let's go. All right, guys, I am out of work. I'm in my Christmas dress and my scooter skirt just because it's a little difficult to scoot in this skirt. And I want to bring my keyboard to the Christmas party. What do we think? I th it feels like it's got like a good weight to it. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fly off. And if I, I mean, I've ridden like this with a lot of stuff before where I like secure it with my feet on top. So I think it should be okay. Um, yeah, as long as I just concentrate and make sure not to lean too much into the curves, that kind of thing. I think I should be all right. So we'll see. <laughs> 
scooter level expert. All right, so I made it to Ann and Patrick's with my keyboard. And I'm so stoked because like, this is by far the oddest thing that I have carried on my scooter so far. And I'm just so stoked that it worked. One more thing to add to the list of odd stuff I've carried on my scooter. Alright, don't drop it going up the stairs. Oh fuck, holy shit. The wind is crazy. Okay, who's here? I brought the keyboard on the scooter. On the scooter? Yeah, I did. I thought you might Oh, holy shit. I love those earrings. Thank you. The mashed potatoes are vegan. They so are. So are the sweet potatoes. Yay. We thought of you. We thought of That's you. That's so nice. So nice. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. in her glasses right now. <laughs> it's almost out. It's almost. Oh, you did it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm home. Ann and Patrick gave me this blue flannel shirt because <laughs> I was cold and they were like, Merry Christmas, keep it. So I have a blue flannel shirt now. I'm excited about it. And... It's 2.30 in the morning, I'm going to bed, I'm going to wake up at 5, or at least going to set my alarm for 5, try and get up, get some things done, you know how I do, I always leave packing to the last minute, and uh, I still have half my packing to do, including wrapping Christmas gifts, which I'm going to save all for tomorrow morning. How will I do it? Because I am a procrastinator by nature. And I'm used to doing things this way. <laughs> It'll get done. Trust me. But for now, I'm going to go to bed. And I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas today. My Christmas is tomorrow. Um, and if you like the vlogs, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And jump on the love train with us. Woohoo! You can also find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash lilhipster. Um, and that's about it. Everybody have a great night, and don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's the Long Island medium. That's amazing. I thought you might need something to read on the airplane. Feeling messages, remarkable stories, and insight about the other side from the Long Island Radio. Sarah and Ralph and I love to watch this show together. Yay, I'm excited to read this. You always need to read something on the airplane to distract yourself. Now you won't have to spend money on magazines. Right, but will this make me think about dying on a plane more or less? <gasps> oh. <laughs> You won't worry about it, because don't worry, boo. There's more to life than this. It's not really death. Either. Right. You can all, you know what? That's how you could be Teresa's best friend. Your ghost. <laughs> hey. I'm going to come back and haunt you. Hey, you better.